Hi everyone, welcome to Rike Sports and our preview for the upcoming one day international series between South Africa and England which gets underway tomorrow in Cape Town. It's a three match series like in the T20 series, the first match will be in Cape Town, second in Pearl and the third back in Cape Town. So let's just look back at that previous T20 series, it was a dominant victory for England there, they won 3-0 as we predicted, and they were just too strong. South Africa did compete well, posted three competitive scores in all three matches. However, England's batting firepower is far superior, as we saw. They were just too strong, even if they lost wickets, they bat so deep, and all power packed hitters there in that lineup. So, first match we saw it was Bairstow and Stokes that got the majority of the runs. In the second match, it was Milan and Morgan. And then in the third match, again, it was Milan, and this time with Butler. And they chased down the scores all three times really well. And they have now gone to the top of the ICC T20 rankings. So they're heading to the One Day International Series. Highly confident. Players performing well. The bowling wasn't spectacular, but they kept things tight. I'd say Rashid was a pick of the bowlers. And yeah, definitely going into this one now, very confident. And if we look at the ICC rankings for the One Day Internationals, we'll see England are at the top. They are the current world champions, best team in the world. South Africa have been struggling in recent times and they're down in fifth place. When you look at the head to head, South Africa do lead that one 30 wins to 28. The last series between these two teams was back in February of this year. It was tied 1 1. The second match was a washout, so the series was shared. And going into this now, so. If we look at the predicted lineups with South Africa, as I say, it's a bit more difficult with there. There's not really a settled team, um, not be performing well. So when that happens, you tend to make more changes. In terms of injuries, Rabada's injured, unfortunately. He's going to miss this series. And Duplessis as well is being rested. So that's two of their key players. For England, they've decided to rest a few of their players for this one. So they're resting Stokes, Sam Curran and Jofra Archer. So with... As strong as England are, you know, we know they've got really good players and a strong squad, but you are going to miss someone like Ben Stokes. He's such a great all rounder, brilliant batter, bowler, and fielder. Archer, as well, such a good bowler, you know, he's going to be a miss too. So that would weaken them. Sam Curran has always been performing well in recent times, but he, they have players able to replace him, but not so much for other two. So that does weaken England, but I think in reserve, their, their players coming in are still strong enough to do very well in this series. So, predicted lineup for England are gonna go for Ray, Besto, Root, Morgan, Butler, Billings, Ali, Wokes, Rashid, Woods, and Stones. So if we look at the two lineups there, if you look at some of the players for South Africa that played in the T20 series that performed well, it was Duplessis as a star player, along with Van der Dessen. He made over two getting most of the runs. Duplessis is not playing for this series but Van der Dussen will be there he's going to be key for them he's been performing really well getting big runs De Kock and Klassen showed hints of good form and they'll be hoping that they get into good form in this series and get some big scores bowling wise all the bowlers did bowl quite well Nagidi was looking good Lindy the left arm spinner there you know he's on his debut in this T20 series and he performed very well Shamsi as well was doing very well there for England as I was telling you about the batting, was performing really well. Most of the batters were getting runs. In this series, you've still got Bestos there, Morgan, Butler will be there too as well. So they were in good form in the T20 series. Root was looking in good form in the warm-up games as well. He's not been playing uh, in the T20 stuff. So he'll be coming into this hoping to do well here, but also to try and force his way into the T20 squad as well. Roy's been out of form. Um, not been in good form recently at all during the summer series as well as performing quite poorly got injured and then didn't perform well when he came back in and again not started the T20 series well three low scores there but he's a class player and expect him to anytime turn it on get a big score could be in any one of the upcoming matches so definitely when you compare the two teams England are the stronger home advantage will help South Africa we know home advantage does help all the teams and for South Africa, especially at Cape Town, they have a phenomenal record there. They've won 16 of the last 19 matches there. So really hard to beat in Cape Town. Two of the matches in the series will be there. Uh, if you look at the toss bias as well in Cape Town, it can favour the team there who decides to bat first. There's like close to a 75% win record for the team batting first there. So that is quite a big advantage. However, taking all these things into account, I still think England will be too strong yet again. I think it's going to be 
another comfortable win, win for them. I think Duplessis is a big miss along with Rabada for South Africa. So even though England have rested two of their better players, when you take out Rabada and Duplessis from South Africa's team, that kind of evens that out. I mean, I'd say overall going into it, the form of the two teams, the confidence is with England. And over the last years, they've been performing way better than South Africa in this format of the game. So going to go for England to win and 3-0 again as a correct score prediction. So that's all for me. Thank you. And please remember to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.